This special tiger had become completely captivated by a particular woman for days. She tried painstakingly to find out what was going on with the majestic animal. He seemed to have something stuck in his paw but refused to show it to the outside world. For days, she camped out in front of his enclosure, hoping to catch a glimpse of his big secret. However, he didn't reveal anything. It wasn't until she momentarily stopped paying attention that he managed to reveal it, his huge secret. She didn't notice it herself, but her camera captured everything. When she looked back at the footage, Raphael was the new star of the Buccaneer Zoo. He had finally arrived yesterday after a long journey from China and could now call this place his new home. The regular visitors were eagerly anticipating their first sighting of the beautiful tiger. While the zoo housed all kinds of animals, tigers were a rarity. Raphael was the superstar they had been waiting for, and tomorrow was the day people could get their first glimpse of him. They would come face to face with this magnificent wild cat. Raphael hailed from the Asian savanna, where he had spent his entire childhood alongside his mate. He roamed freely in his natural habitat, but unfortunately, poachers lurked there constantly. To protect these beautiful tigers, they were often captured and then sold to various zoos under the pretense of being rescued, rather than being trapped or killed. This sudden change forced Raphael out of his home, a devastating blow for a wild animal. Carla, 29, was among the visitors when the zoo opened its doors. As a wildlife photographer, her job involved taking pictures of animals for a magazine. She couldn't wait to showcase Raphael's best side. Her ultimate dream was to go to Africa or Asia and photograph beasts in the wild. This way, she hoped her reports would grace the esteemed pages of the weekly Green Soil magazine. Wild animals had a different look and demeanor compared to those in captivity, which is why she hoped that Raphael still carried the spirit of the savanna in his eyes. Carla arrived at the zoo early in the morning, hoping to avoid the crowds and take a few pictures in peace. Raphael was undoubtedly the center of attention for nearly all visitors. Fortunately, Carla managed to get ahead of the crowd. Over the course of three days, morning, afternoon, and evening, she took several photos of him. Thankfully, she captured some remarkable shots, but that wasn't the only thing she stumbled upon. In every morning photo, Raphael did something special. He positioned himself under a rock, in a place where he wasn't easily visible. His gaze revealed a touch of guardedness and panic as he scanned his surroundings. What stood out the most was his paw, it was always in the same position. If Carla didn't know any better, she'd think he was hiding something there. Carla's curiosity grew, leading her to ask the zoo if she could take early morning pictures. To her delight, they granted her permission. At six o'clock the next morning, Carla arrived at the zoo secretly. She walked toward Raphael's cage, making sure not to draw attention so that he wouldn't behave differently, unaware that anyone was watching. Finding a hiding spot behind a bush about 10 meters away from the cage, she positioned herself. With her camera in hand, she zoomed in on Raphael. There it was again, just like in the pictures. Half an hour passed without any significant development. The tiger seemed to only rub his snout against his paw. But just as Carla was about to leave, it happened. She held her camera with clammy hands, still zoomed in on Raphael. Slowly, there was movement in his paw. And then, a little bird flew out from under it. Carla was taken aback by this unexpected sight. The bird quickly flew away from the zoo. She tried to capture another picture of the animal, but it was too quick. Before she could click her camera, it had vanished. After the bird flew away, Raphael started pacing around his cage, likely preparing for the crowd that would soon come to see him. Carla turned her camera over and looked at the photos from the past few days. It became apparent that Raphael spent every morning with a little bird nestled under his paw. This revelation led Carla to realize that there was only one key to unlocking this mystery, to find the place where the bird was flying to. After some convincing, Carla managed to get her boyfriend, Joey, to come to the zoo the next morning. Joey was a drone journalist who primarily reported on forest fires. 
The two positioned themselves behind the bush where Carla had been the previous day at 6.15 a.m. When they observed Raphael, he was back in the same position with his paw in the exact same place. And then, it happened again. His paw slowly moved aside. Have the drone ready, Carla anxiously told Joey. The camera on the drone allowed them to track the bird on Joey's phone. It seemed like the bird was flying to the other side of town, where there wasn't much except another zoo. As the bird approached the other zoo, it began descending. It appeared as though it was going to land in one of the cages at the back. The drone hovered above it while Carla and Joey zoomed in from below. They followed the bird all the way to the cages. The bird landed on another tiger, which looked similar in size to a female tiger. The bird settled in front of her and crawled close. It stayed there for 15 minutes before flying away again. The tigress then walked away as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Carla didn't fully comprehend what she was witnessing, but to her delight, Joey had captured everything on film. She could review it later at her own pace. However, she had another question she wanted answers to. That afternoon, she went to the other zoo to inquire about the tigress. It turned out that Raphael and the tigress came from the exact same region and were delivered to the zoos on the same day. They were a separated couple. Through the bird, they were still able to communicate, allowing them to keep an eye on each other. Despite being only 10 kilometers apart, it felt like the other side of the world to them. Carla decided to report on this romantic incident, titling it, True Love Has No Obstacles. With the help of the drone footage, she shared this heartwarming story. The zoos were deeply moved by the beautiful tale and decided to transfer the tigress to Raphael's cage. They no longer wanted to separate them. The reunion of the two lovebirds was heartwarming, and Carla was the only one allowed to report on it. With tears in her eyes, she saw the two wild cats in love leap into each other's arms. In nature, there are default overlords in the sea, land, and air. In the ocean, the shark has a huge body, and its sharp teeth make other creatures in the ocean frightened. On land, the lion is called the king of the forest by everyone, occupying a territory and is not allowed to be invaded by any animals, then the eagle is the most ferocious bird in the air. The eagle has sharp eyes, keen observation ability, can see the prey on the ground clearly, and has a pair of strong feet. With sharp claws, they will catch mice, snakes or hares on the land as food. As long as they are stared at by eagles, they cannot escape, because eagles are majestic and ferocious, so they are called birds of prey in zoology. In order to do an experiment, a farmer put an egg in the eagle's nest, and went to observe it a few days later. He was surprised by the sight in the eagle's nest, can domesticated and wild animals adopt and care for species different from themselves? It doesn't feel like it's any different from the way we humans adopt. When couples go to adopt, they don't pick and choose based on race, color, or disability. They adopt because they want to take care of these homeless children, to give these children a complete and happy family. We see in nature that cats and dogs will take good care of their children. Small whales in the sea often follow their mothers all the time. Ferocious lions also guard their children day and night in order to protect their cubs. These animal babies all enjoy the love and care from our own kind of mothers. If the parents and children of these animal families are cross-species, it is to let the parents of this species take care of the children of another species. Will two different species establish a relationship? A special bond, does maternal love vary across species, people who have lived in the countryside for a long time not only supplement their families by planting crops, but also raise various poultry, and George is no exception. On George's farm, chickens, geese, and ducks have been raised for many years. Because he has been with these poultry day and night, George has a special understanding of the diet and living habits of these poultry. He knows what kind of food the poultry likes best and how to to take care of the mood of these poultry. Therefore, under George's careful care, the scale of the farm has been continuously expanding, and the number of poultry has also been increasing. With extra funds, George will buy some new bird species. One day, George was wandering in the market as usual, 
hoping to buy some good species of birds. Suddenly, he was attracted by a vendor selling eagles. Based on George's years of experience in raising birds, he found that the eagles in front of the vendor were not like they were raised in his own home, but they seemed to have been hunted from the wild. George did not reveal the true identity of the poacher, and silently took the two eagles in the hands of the vendor back home. George originally wanted to release these two eagles back to the forest, but they have already lost the ability to survive in the wild after living in the hands of poachers for a long time. In order for these two eagles to live safely, George decided to raise them on the farm. The frequent change of living environment made the two eagles particularly unsuitable for life on the farm. Therefore, in the first year, George isolated the two eagles from other birds and raised them in an independent space, giving them time to grow slowly familiarize themselves with life on the farm. In the second year, George was pleasantly surprised to find that the two eagles had not only been familiar with the farm environment, but had also formed a small family. George also found several eggs in their nests, which were the love of the two eagles crystallization. At this time, a strange idea appeared in George's mind. He wanted to do an experiment on the two eagles. Although the idea was very strange, George decided to carry it out. At this time, the hen raised by George also laid eight eggs. The hen was lying proudly on her eggs, waiting for her child to be born. George made a move that was difficult for ordinary people to understand. When the hen and the eagle were not paying attention, he put an egg laid by the eagle in the hen's nest, and then took out an egg from the hen's net and the eggs are put back into the eagle's nest. George was really a man full of novel ideas, and the average person would not think of doing this. So why on earth did he do it? After a few days, the hen didn't realize that one of the eggs she worked so hard to lay had been replaced by an eagle's egg. Instead, she sat on a pile of eggs and hatched the chicks attentively. After a while, the chicks one by one came out of their shells, chirping, all looking at their mother with their hungry eyes, and that little eagle also came out of its shell, and the size of this little eagle was obviously much larger than that of the chicks, but the mother hen did not notice the difference between them, instead she took care of the little eagle and her group of chicks equally. Maybe for the mother hen, these are the children she hatched with her heart, and she didn't care about the difference in their appearance. On the other hand, the eagle mother didn't notice any difference between the egg she laid and her own egg. Instead, she cared for the egg just like her own. Not long after, those little hawks and that special chick were also hatched by the mother eagle. Compared with the young eagle, this chick has a huge difference in coat color from the eagle, and its body size is also quite small. The two eagles stared blankly at this special child in front of them. Maybe they didn't know why they gave birth to such a child. This special, little eagle, looked at its eagle parents eagerly, waiting for their feeding, but the eagle stared at the chick for a long time without doing anything. Just when George thought the eagles would not care about the chick, the mother eagle suddenly picked up the food next to it and fed it to the chick. Satisfied with the food fed by his adoptive mother, George felt relieved after seeing this scene, thinking that even if the chicks and eaglets were not replaced, they would grow up healthily under the care of their respective adoptive mothers. This interesting experiment by George proved to us that whether it is human beings, eagles or hens, they will not treat their own children differently because of race or species, but will treat their own children as if they were their own. Sincerely giving, human beings adopt children because of their love for children, which is an overflow of maternal love. The same is true for animals. Maternal love is always the same among different species. The most typical thing is that we humans often keep pets. They treat pets as their own children or relatives. Pets thrive surrounded by loving human mothers, human beings spend countless lonely and frustrated times in the company of pets. In this world, any kind of love can be described in words, whether they are exposed or deep or sweet or meaningful, only maternal love is difficult to express. The maternal love of human beings has been praised countless times by various literary forms, and the touching stories are more than the stars in the sky. In fact, maternal love is not only possessed by human beings, but also the instinct of all creatures, because only instinctive maternal love can save life continue. 
The power of maternal love continues the life of children. Everyone's growth is inseparable from maternal love. Only maternal love can give us mysterious power, making maternal love the greatest and most selfless existence in this world. At any time, maternal love will be as firm as a rock, eternal, and it will reproduce and pass on the endless life of all creatures. This is true for humans and animals. Thank you.